beautiful soul. Happy Samhain, happy Halloween. I am so excited that you're here and I hope you love this beautiful setup that we have. It's my favorite time of the year. I'm Heather and I'll be taking you through a very relaxing yin yoga flow to honor this very special event. So Samhain is a time for us to go inwards, to slow down. It's when the veil between the two worlds um, is very thin. So this is a really great time to connect to your intuition, to connect to your ancestors. So those can be some of the things that you are reflecting on as you move through this yin yoga. If you haven't done yin yoga before, this where we hold the poses for around two and a half to three minutes long. And you will need perhaps one block for this practice. If you do not have any blocks, do not worry. You can always go without. It just helps you to get deeper into the pose if that's what you feel like today. And we will begin. Let's go. We are going to begin in seed pose. Bring your legs together and you'll fall down, arms beside you, and forehead to the earth. Just breathe in and out through your nose. Allow your shoulders to relax. And during this yin yoga practice, I will not be speaking as much so you can use this time to reflect and to go within. And slowly roll up inch by inch and we'll move into sphinx pose so come onto your belly nice and slow onto your forearms this is for sphinx you want to push your shoulders away this is a really great heart opening pose if you'd like to go deeper you can always straighten your arms it depends how you feel today once again, just settle here. You can always close your eyes, connect to the darkness. And listen to whatever guidance and messages come through for you during this yin yoga.
slowly come out of this sphinx pose push up onto your knees and we'll do a frog pose i'll show you from the front as well so you know how to do this a frog pose is when it's a very deep hip opener so you'll open up your knees as wide as you can and you can stay on your hands or come down onto your forearms if this is really really intense you can come into a child's pose where you'll bring your feet together and come down to the mat so it's up to you so wherever you are just find your edge and breathe into it Sometimes in the yin, it can get quite uncomfortable. As long as there's no sharp pain, breathe through it. We store a lot of emotions in our hips, so this could be a really nice release. with a pigeon pose we'll do half on each side so bring your right foot to the top of the mat your left leg straight behind you if you have a block it can be really nice to place it under underneath the hip you have an option to stay on your fingertips or you can fold down to the mat and just feel a nice stretch in your hips with every breath it's a release, a letting go. With every inhale, you're bringing in new fresh energy, fresh oxygen. And Samhain is a time of release too. So what are you letting go of? probably notice that one side may feel a lot different than the other and that's completely normal.
then slowly lift up. You can release the block for a moment. And a lot of this practice is um, hip openers, but also heart openers. So the next pose will be a camel pose. So come on up onto your knees, and there's a few different variations of this. You can place your hands behind your lower back and start to lean back slowly. Now this might be enough for you, but if you'd like to take the full extension of this, you would hold onto your heels, drop your head, your heart to open up. This is great for your shoulders and back, but also to really think about opening your heart up to gratitude and love and releasing anything that no longer serves you on this Samhain. back up very slowly out of camel pose one hand to the back then the other and use your core to bring yourself back up back up that's probably a very intense pose and to counteract that I'm going to do a standing forward fold so slowly come onto your feet and all you'll do is fold over it's almost like a rag doll pose this is a really great one to counteract Camel pose. But it's also very nourishing for the body and the back and the spine. With every exhale, letting go deeper. and supported
wherever you are. You might want to grab your block for this one, which will be a garland pose, which is almost like um, a yogi squat. So what you would do is sink low into your hips. You have the option to press your hands away and you can stay here. But a nice option is to use a block underneath or a cushion as a seat. And then you can settle into this pose using your elbows to push the legs away. Connecting to your root chakra here at the base of your spine. You have the support of your ancestors. the support of your breath and as you're here you might want to reflect on what you're grateful for in this life that your ancestors fought so hard for so that you could be here will be puppy pose so this is great for your shoulders so it's almost like a child pose but instead of bringing your forehead to the ground it's a more of a deeper shoulder stretch so bring your arms straight in front of you and slowly drop the forehead to the earth but instead of having your glutes on your heels your glutes are in the air You'll definitely feel this in your shoulders.
and slowly release. And we will shift back into the same pose we did at the beginning, which is seed pose. Bringing your legs together, folding over. And as we end here today, for this Samhain Halloween Yin Yoga, Reconnect back to yourself. Back to your breath and the wisdom of your ancestors. Honoring the seeds they planted Honoring yourself. As you were a seed that they once planted. Slowly roll up out of seed pose, inch by inch, and keep your eyes closed. Placing one hand on your heart, one hand on your lower stomach. Feel the breath. Feel this life that you have. your heart beating underneath your hand. And wherever you are, come to take a seat. And whatever position feels comfortable for you, for me it's cross-legged. Bring your arms out beside you, gathering this energy, this life force energy in the palms of your hand. And bring your hands to your heart center. And bow forward. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing this Samhain Halloween Yin Yoga here on Tap Into Your Magic. If you enjoyed it, please let me know in the comments below what your ancestors had to say to you, any messages, any wisdom that came through. And um, don't forget to share this practice with your loved ones as well. This is a really amazing heart opening and hip opening flow that just really allows you to slow down and be present with your body and I just want to say thank you so much for practicing with me and I hope
hope to practice again with you in another yoga flow. So bye for now.